so you've got your hero, you've got your enemy, uh, enemies, um, you've got your pickups. Uh, you know, as you go through this, is there a checklist that you go through and say, hey, I, I, we need to make sure that we have these elements? Yeah, I mean, a little bit. So, I mean, a lot of this stuff we already kind of have, right? So, you're going to have, and we already have an enemy class. We already have a hero class uh, for dead weight and uh, skip chaser. So, they just need to be pared down. Um, and usually, I just end up throwing them away and starting over from something simple. But, like, I know what I'm going to do. In the door will be a our class for um, um, exiting a level. Right. So we know we have, you know, you're going to put the hero in that scene. Um, and, um, you know, in fact, this is kind of how we, we do it is, uh, you know, the, so the hero here will be where you start in the level and the door here will be where you end in the level. So it'd be very visual representations of it. So if I, you know, make a level where you come back to where you start, you know, it'd be pretty simple for, you know, do, do, do. Okay, here we go. So this level looks like this. You can do this and jump up here and do this and you're out. Right. That kind of becomes the whole game, right? And it's pretty simple. You look at it and go, oh, I get it. Now, like, stop coding, <laughs> stop developing, stop doing anything else. And let's think about, like, you know, what we're going to do inside the game. And, um, you know, probably too much for this, but what, you know, we've done in the past is we have these little, uh, um, little signs that bumping into these signs would trigger some sort of dialogue box that would say, you know, Hey, keep going this way. You're, you're almost there. Blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah, I don't know. We've just done it so many times. Right. I mean, I think it's the other thing too, is when you're building a game, um, you know, I think it's very telling, right? So I'm building skip chaser and I love nuclear throne. I love Diablo. Like I love these other games that are just like skip chaser. <laughs> Um, and I'm spending my time kind of building a game that I know exactly how I want it to play, right? So I'm just checking things off my mental checklist. And we have Asana and, um, that we use to kind of put everything out there. So you're right, yeah, we do have like tasks that get assigned and so on and so on. But for the most part, it's kind of a mental checklist versus doing something like Time Golf Squad where I really don't know like what the next thing in that game is going to be. Like, I have no idea. Like, and, and working on little projects like this, um, you know, I'll discover something doing this that I'll be like, oh, that's really cool. Like, that's something I need to pull out and put into this other game. Um, so that's where game jams for us a lot too. Like, sit down and doing a game jam. Like, we'll come up with an idea or a gameplay mechanic that we'll, you know, want to move over into something else that we're working on. 